Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. Got a really special magic review for you because I'm actually reviewing a download. That's right. I'm reviewing a download because uh, I don't review downloads. I just don't. That's just not my format. But uh, Miles Thornton reached out to me and asked me to review his at the table lecture from Murphy's Magic. And I think Murphy's Magic even told him that, you know, David doesn't review downloads. But Miles was like, no, 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 I want, I want David to review this uh, lecture. And so I, I happily uh, said yes. And uh, it's actually two hours and 18 minutes long. Two hours and 18 minutes of magic. So I was actually flying out to Sacramento for Thanksgiving, uh, Sacramento, California. And so I just threw it on my phone and I watched the entire thing on my flight from uh, my home to Sacramento and was just totally blown away. I, it's, it's a lot of ring magic, right? It's a lot of ring magic. And you can just picture this. I'm like in, uh, I'm in the airplane in my seat with the tray table down. I got my phone propped up and I'm watching this and you know, every now and then I'm pulling my wedding ring off and I'm doing some sort of weird uh, trick. Like I'm following Miles along uh, on the screen and I'm just kind of unaware of what people are <laughs> like. You know, you, you kind of lean over on the airplane and you look like, oh, what are they watching? What are they doing? And I can only imagine what they thought I was doing <laughs> because the video is, is not what you know people normally watch on an airplane and here I am playing with my finger ring, making it move from one hand to the next or making it vanish or, or putting it in the crook of my arm. So it was, it was pretty funny, but at the end of the flight, um, I think I was really turned around on uh, just Miles's whole style. Uh, and, I, and I gotta be honest with you, like uh, this whole video is ring magic, coin magic, and Sharpie magic, right? It's, it's all impromptu, kind of like street magic style stuff where like, you know, you could just use uh, the objects around you in your environment. You can do magic with whatever you have on you. You know, cause I've said in the past, I do a lot of card magic. That's kind of like my thing. Uh, and I do mentalism. And so I don't, I, don't off, I don't do ring magic or Sharpie magic or coin magic really for the most part. And so I, I, this whole video wasn't even my style, but it was such an enjoyable watch and Miles just sucked me <laughs> right in. Uh, I think as soon as I got off the plane, I was DMing him on Instagram going, all right, where did you find, where'd you get that ring? <laughs> like, like, where do you find these rings? Like, I mean, what, what size do you, what size do you get? Or what, what, what are they made out of? And he was uh, really glad to kind of help me out and point me in the right direction. All right, so let's talk about the video. Uh, like I said, it's two hours, 18 minutes. It's an at the table lecture, which means it's always filmed in uh, Murphy's Magic kind of at the table stage. Uh, Javier Fuemir is the host. Uh, you might remember uh, Javier. I, uh, when I first reviewed the Viper Wallet, uh, and I'll, I'll say this again, Javier Fuemir's review of the Viper Wallet is the best one on YouTube. And if you're still on the fence about whether you wanna get the Viper Wallet, go check out Javier's review of the Viper Wallet. Javier says stuff and mentions things in his review that I purposefully left out of mine because I didn't wanna steal his content and steal his ideas. So like I said, if you're still on the fence about Viper, go check out Javier Fuemir's review. This video is two hours, 18 minutes. It's mostly the bulk of it is all ring magic. And then there's two like subsections after that. Well, really three subsections after that of coin magic and then uh, stuff with Sharpie markers. And then there's some muscle uh, magic, kind of like a juggling thing that he does with a wine glass that we'll get to. But it's all shot very organic, very linear, very conversational. Uh, Miles always does a performance at the very beginning for Javier and then goes into the explanation for each thing. Um, and it's like I said, it's all very fluid. It's, it's a very good uh, video of back and forth. Like, you know, like Javier is there to act as the spectator. He's acting as the spectator so that you get spectator reactions, but then he's also uh, there kind of doing double duty as the, as the purchaser. Like he's, he's taking your spot. Javier's asking him the questions that maybe you would ask if you were there and you were interested uh, in performing these tricks. So first up, there's eight different ring tricks. The first one is called Impromptu Assassin and it's his longer routine. It's a very visual. Uh, there's a couple different stages in this and it's a lot of fun. Then there's the Impossible Ring Vanish where he vanishes a ring and then sandwiched between your hands and the spectator's hands, it appears. Then there's a trick called Back 
back in time where it fades off of one finger and appears on another. There's an anti-gravity ring where the ring floats from one hand to the other. There's another trick on there called stuck where the ring appears on different fingers and every single time it appears on a different finger, uh, Miles feigns like he can't get it off his finger. And then there's the gypsy vanish, which I really liked where the ring appears on and off his thumb. And then there's a ring flurry in a hurry, which is actually a ring trick variation of an Eric Jones routine. And just for fun, he'll teach you how to roll a ring down your arm and catch it in your hand. Then there's his coin tricks, there's full circle. Uh, the, that's Miles' uh, worker coin routine. It has instant reset, only uses one pocket, it's very visual and very funny. Then there's coin flight, which kind of reminded me of ring flight, really, where you, know, the, you, you vanish a ring and it appears somewhere, like on your shoe. But in this one, he borrows a coin, it's signed, it's completely vanished, and then it appears clipped onto a Sharpie cap. Then he goes into his Sharpie magic tricks, and really these are all kind of like just little fun ideas. He does a color changing Sharpie cap. He does a Sharpie like float where it flies between your hands. He does a production and he does a vanish. And then tagged in there somewhere, he also has this little bonus where he teaches you how to vanish a lighter. And then at the end, he's gonna go into the trick called impossible float. Great for restaurant magicians who do walk around, uh, who could borrow a wine glass maybe off the table, and then you float it completely organically with no gimmicks uh, right in front of your spectators. All right, so what's the skill level on this? How difficult are these tricks? Um, there's no difficulty to these at all. I mean, like I said, I was doing these on the plane. I think with the ring magic, you want a ring that's a little bit, a little like a size bigger than what you would normally wear. Uh, I kind of have the advantage because uh, since I got married, I lost weight. And so my ring already slides on my finger pretty easily and that's what you want. Um, but then it's just a lot of uh, cover and ditching uh, that Miles is gonna totally fully teach you. Uh, and, and and you know, at the beginning I was saying, you know, this, this isn't really my wheelhouse. These aren't, types of tricks that I normally perform. But here's what I, here's what I was thinking, and this, this is what it made me think, and I think this is how it could be applicable for everyone. You know, sometimes you're out, you know, with your friends, or you're out at dinner, or, you know, you're just out around, and someone says, hey, do a magic trick, because they know you're a magician, and they, or they've seen you do magic before. And then you kind of pat your chest, or, you know, look around and go, oh, you know what? I didn't bring anything with me. <laughs> that just means that you are a magician that relies on gimmicks and you've just kind of unintentionally said that out loud to your spectator now. What you said was, I didn't bring a magic trick with me, which means you perform tricks that are self-contained and they are the things that do the magic, not you, right? Whereas like, I think when we first saw David Blaine, you know, the character, that he created was this person who was able to take objects from people, borrow things that were around him, and create magic, perhaps with things that we would never think of, right? And so for David Blaine's persona, it was like magic happens all around me. So if you ask me to do a magic trick, of course, I can just pick up this spoon or this glass or here, can I borrow a coin? And you can immediately do tricks, which I would offer. This is what Miles's you know, tricks are. They're very organic and you don't need any uh, gimmickry to do any of them. Like I said, the bulk of the tricks are ring magic and you can just carry a ring with you all the time. You could even borrow someone else's ring, especially if it was a, uh, someone who you thought maybe their ring was a little larger than yours. So in looking at your bag of tricks or the tricks that you normally do, ask yourself, if I had nothing on me at all and somebody asked me to do a magic trick, what would I do? What would I do? You need an out. You need an out for that question. Hey, do a magic trick. Because you should never say, I didn't bring something with me, right? And I think with this video, uh, I think it introduces you to kind of like this world of organic magic, which is great. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Miles Thornton has come up with some wonderfully organic ideas that will allow you to create magical moments anytime, anywhere. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know what, for the price, you really can't say anything bad about this video. And I'll tell you right now, it's $8. <laughs> it's eight bucks, $8 for over two hours of magic. You, you can't say anything bad about this video. You really can't. You could, you could say, well, I don't do Sharpie magic or I don't do coin magic. That's fine. Move on to the next. You could say, well, I didn't really like that ring trick. That's fine. <laughs> Move on to the next one. For over two hours worth of magic, you're really getting 
way more than your money's worth. It's almost like you're getting it for free. <laughs> to get that much magic and that much attention from Miles, I mean, come on. Uh, this is a wonderful download. I would highly recommend it. Who would like this? Like I've been saying, people who do street magic, people who do walk around, people who are purists, purist magicians that don't believe in gimmicks, using the objects that they have around them, definitely. Uh, organic magicians, absolutely. All right, so that's everything I can say about Miles Thornton's At The Table Lecture for Murphy's Magic. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.